Hey everybody, how you doing? Um, it's actually snowing here. We're supposed to get anywhere from six to eight inches. Uh, tonight's gonna get worse. We're here in the northeast corner of Pennsylvania. A lot of snow coming this way, but that's okay. I'm going to show you the card I made. I have a couple of birthdays coming up, so I figured I'd get down to business, make my cards, and show you the cut file that I designed in Cricut Design Space. I will link that cut file um, below. If, uh, if you're new to my channel, please hit the like button and subscribe. Press that little bell so you'll get notified when I put up a new video. But this is my take on the slider cards. Look how cute. It's like abracadabra that you can make with the dies. So if you have a Cricut, you can make this yourself. How sweet, right? I made it uh, blinged out for my niece, who's in college. And because I'm going to be sending her a gift, I put an envelope on the back. And inside the envelope, I just put a little card, because I'm always thinking of her. And I put an I love you. My family knows that I am a Disney freak. I love Disney. And I do get inspired by everything Disney. And once I start creating something, I, I envision it being something Disney. So this is what I made. And I'm going to walk you through it. This year, I made the other day. These are the paper clips. I used this, um, all the images from Cricut Design Space. And I printed front and back. And then I attached them to the paper clips with my hot glue gun. So I'm sending her that because, you know, you're in college and you need paper clips. And then I made this cute little glitter bookmark for her. I think that's very cute. Maybe she'll, you know, sparkles. Every girl loves sparkles. So with that, this is going to go to her for her birthday. And I'm going to show you how to make this card. Now, if you don't want to include the envelope on the back, you don't have to. You could put your sentiment on the back I love you happy birthday so happy anniversary I mean how cute would that be for an anniversary card you just don't put that there so I'm gonna teach you how to make this I already cut out all the pieces like I said I'll link the Cricut design space file to the caption below and we're gonna get started so it's not that one it's this one okay so since it's already printed what we have to do is we have to give it a score mark because I don't like always using the one that's in design space. So this is nine inches, so I know I'm going to have to score it at four and a half. Okay, so I score it at four and a half, and we are going to fold it over. Okay, and then I'll get my bone folder, I'll line it up, oops, put that back there, and I'll give it a crease. Now, since this is a slider card, we have to build this section up. So in your cut file, there are three pieces. We're going to glue all these together, and they're going to go here. So with my tape runner, I'm going to just do it as quickly as possible so that it's not a long video, and I don't bore you to death. This is actually take two on this video. I, uh, for some reason, the envelope punch board had a mind of its own before, and it was driving me absolutely crazy. You see my, my gun? These are actually made with the Cricut stickers, um, sticker paper. Yeah, Tink's my favorite. Tink is my favorite. I'll show you something real quick, too. I, I, let's see if I can uh, just line this up. I hate when I don't get it right. Ah, my fingers are sticking. Okay, please stand by. Choke. Um, all right. We want to get them lined up as best we can because this is what's going to cause this, the slider to go back and forth. Look how cute these are, right? These are these silly little Dollar Tree 
sticker stickers, but I cut the back off and I put a, a Tinkerbell picture behind it. And then I'll add glue to it and I'll stick it somewhere in my journal or agenda or a planner or something. Okay, so we attached all three. What I like to do is I like to trim just the top just a bit because I need it to be just a little bit shorter so that the fold actually will fold nice and neat. And then we're going to glue this down. So we'll glue it down. Yeah, we, have, uh, we haven't had much snow here. New York has been getting a lot more than we have. But I think today we're going to be matching them. I'm originally from New York. Can you hear my accent? Ha, 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 ha. Yes, I'm a funny girl. I try to make people laugh. Okay, so that's done. Oh, now I need a piece of plastic. I didn't cut my plastic. Okay. So, um... All right, so this is just a, um, a page protector, and I keep it close by. You can use plastic bags that you get from the Dollar Tree that has, you know, I save all my bags. I am sure you do too, but I'm going to use the sheet protector. So with that, I need to find my ruler. It's amazing how things disappear from this little itsy bitsy desk. Haha, <laughs> got it. Okay, so I want to add a piece of plastic to this. So four and a quarter by four and a quarter will be perfect. See, what I usually like to do is as I use something, I like to put it away. So let's measure that real quick. Four and a quarter by four and a quarter. Oh my lord, there it is. <laughs> well, like they say, there's always bloopers when you're making something, right? And we'll go four and a quarter over here. And now this page is garbage. Okay. So four and a quarter by four and a quarter, and we're going to glue this down. I think I'll use, I usually use glue, but I think that my tape runner will be fine. I usually like to use my art glitter glue. I'm thinking that this will be perfect. All right, so we glue that down. It doesn't have to be perfect. We just need it to cover it. And that's exactly what I didn't want to happen. You want to stay away from the crease. So there we go. Just trim it back. All right, so now that that's done, this here piece is going to become your slider. All right? So... See how nice it sits in these? And it's going to come in and out. So in order for it to come in and out, we have to just mark it. We'll mark it where we have to cut. I like it to be snug, so I'm going to go right about there and right about there. That's the end and the end. Okay? And I, I'm a, probably a little bit short, but I will adjust as needed. You could take a ruler if you're not comfortable, um, but for the video sake, I'm going to just use no ruler so that you can actually see what I'm doing. All right, so I made that crease. This here is going to slide in there and it's going to stay in this here channel. That's the goal for this to stay in that channel. So when we close this and we just hold on to the bottom, See, it's snug. So now I know I have to adjust just a wee bit more. And I don't want to go too much because I don't want it to flop around. And I'm, I'm talking minute. And like, you could just keep going back and forth. Oh, there you go. See how perfect that is? I want it to be, I want it to be snug. Okay. All right, with that being done, we're going to move on to... Mickey's head. So in the cut file, you get this piece. You see that? This here, we're going to glue on top of the acetate 
to give the illusion of just Mickey's head. And then when we pull it up, it's colored in. They do this with stamps, and I found a way that not everybody has stamps. So we can use our print and cut in design space. I mean, I love my stamps, but I don't have Mickey stamps. So I'm gonna glue this down. In order to glue this down, I will be using my art glitter glue. I'll bring in, all right, and it has been acting up on me. So let's see, let me stick a, oh, hey, that's not nice. Ah! All right, so I'm just gonna make sure it's not clogged. Ouch. All right. Wow. Okay. And I just want, I just want a little bit on it. See how light I'm going? The art glitter glue will, oh my God, will keep it perfect. And I'm not even squeezing the bottle. I'm just kind of using what's on the tip. And a little goes a long way. Okay. So now with that being done, what I can do is I can just take a tweezer. I don't know where my good ones are. And it must be underneath. Cracker barrel. Okay. We'll fix that when we're there. All right. So I'm just going to line this up. And just give it a dab and it should stay now the glue that's on the acetate can get wiped away or because it's art glitter it will it will um, dry clear okay see look at that isn't that cute all right so that will dry so as that's drying what we'll do is we're going to glue this cover down. And I don't want to use a lot of glue on here because I don't want the glue to drop on the inside because I, I want the sliding mechanism to work. Oops, as everything falls. And that's it. Now the art glitter is still drying. All right. That's drying. So what I did was I took some washi tape and I love the way the black, white, and silver looked. Black, white, and red would look probably awesome. In fact, let me grab a red. But my theme right now is, or if you were doing like a Mickey Mouse, a Minnie Mouse head, the pink, look how cute the pink would be, or the red, or even doing Minnie Mouse and you could do the polka dots. I mean, that would look cute, but because she's a girl in college, I wanted to do silver. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna border it. I'm gonna border it real quick. Got a pair of scissors. Sometimes things are sitting right in front of you and you don't see them. How funny is that, right? I don't know where I got this washi tape from. It might even be Dollar Tree, for all I know. Isn't it amazing how we forget where we buy things sometimes? I do love the way this looks. I do love the black, white, and silver. Definitely one of my favorites. And like I said, look how, how cute this would be for like an anniversary card. 25 years, mine just passed. Should have made that for my husband. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. So then, because this is a pull mechanism, right, I wanted to just bring in my grommet and I want to secure it so that it doesn't rip. Who wants to get something that rips? So I'll stick that in there, and then with the, I'll just real quickly put that down, secure it, 
and then I have some black ribbon that I want to use and I don't need it to be so big so stick the black ribbon in there how sweet right oh my goodness this can become I think a very addicting card And, and your imagination can run wild with you with um, images. I mean, you could just put a, a sentiment on the front that says happy birthday and then pull it up and there could be flowers sitting in there. You know, it doesn't have to be a uh, outline of a specific thing. You could put happy birthday and when they pull this up, they can have a bouquet of flowers. Uh, this is endless, endless. Now, and honestly, if you don't like the size of this card, just crop it to whatever size you'd like it to be. Okay, so I'm just going to grab my um, Stampin' Up. I use my Stampin' Up Express Yourself, um, and I like that. Happy birthday. So I'm going to just stamp that out real quick. I'm going to grab my basic black because I'm a black, white, and silver theme today. And... I'm just going to give it a little stamp, make sure that we're good. That looks good. I'll line it up, pardon my head if it gets in the shot. Perfect! Love it! Love it, love it, love it. All right. Now to move on to the envelope. That gave me such a hard time before. Okay, so on the envelope punch board, your, your square piece of paper is six and a quarter by six and a quarter, and then you line it up with the two, three, two and three quarter mark, and you punch and score, punch and score, and you're golden. So I made that in advance, and what I like to do is, I'll give you one of my little OCD tricks. I mark it, and I hate that I cut things sometimes unevenly. I'll throw it in my paper trimmer and I'll cut my part off nice and neat. Some things I mind, some things I don't mind. And then I like to use my art glitter because I like the envelope to stay closed. And sometimes with my tape runner, it doesn't always stay closed. Okay. Look at that. One, two, three. All right. Now what I'm thinking of doing on this one is, I do have, I have the Mickey Mouse punch. And I think I'm gonna grab my silver paper. I'm gonna grab my silver sparkle paper. And I'm quickly just gonna punch out a Mickey head. Like that. I know on my off camera. Ta da! And I think that is going to be. Oh my god, love it! But I'm only going to. I'm only going to put. I'm going to use art glitter. I'm only going to glue it down so that it can hold the top of my envelope. All right, so we'll let that dry for just a quick second. Oh, yay, yeah, yeah. my tablecloth, my, it's my tablecloth, my, I have curtains that hide the stuff behind my desk, and it just fell off. Okay, see, because I want this to, maybe I put too much glue, ah, okay. I want that to be my, my envelope holder. All right, so while that's drying, what we'll do is, oh, I did it again. Don't listen to me on the envelope punch board. Crying out loud. Don't listen to me. Don't. Let's try that again together, okay? I don't understand why my measurements are off on this. It's killing me. Killing me, killing me, killing me. Um, 
I think it should be three and a half by three and a half. So I need a five and three quarter piece of black. Five and three quarters. All right. So you're going to walk through this with me again. Let's see if I can come up with this correctly. Let's try this. Five and three quarters square. Five and three quarters. All right. Listen to me ramble. All right. So it says five and three quarters. And over here it says... For five and three quarters, I have to cut and score two and five eighths. All right, let's try this one more time. Two and five eighths. It is just one of those days. I bet you it has to do with the weather. The pressure in the atmosphere is making me crazy. Okay, hold on. I think we might have it. That means I have to cut another uh, Mickey head. I know, I have my bone folded right there and I'm using my hands. Okay. Nothing like designing on a spur of the moment whim. All right, so I'm not gonna bore you with my straight line, blah, blah, blah. Okay, and actually that came out pretty neat. And Ta-da! Look at that, it worked. But real quick, I do want to cut out another, I want to do another Mickey Mouse head. I do, I do, I do. I like the way that looked. I bet you the bag would look awesome too. Uh, okay, let's glue this down. I'm sure the video's getting a wee bit long. You guys can laugh at me. Sure, you've been there, done that. Right? And then, like I say, I lost my sparkle, but it was upside down. Ha ha. I'm going to do a dab. Dollop. Anybody have a dollop? Oh, look at how nice. I'm very happy. Very, 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 very happy with that. Isn't that great? Okay, so. This gets put here on this side, but I'm just going to use the tape runner real quick. Just so that we can finish this up. All right. So line that up right about there. And then I did cut out a piece of paper that was two and three quarters by three and three quarters. And I'm going to just quickly corner, round, round corner it, and there's my phone. I'm not going to answer it. Probably have to hang out. Hold on, everybody. John, I'm in the middle of the video. Can I call you back? Okay, bye. <laughs> okay, sorry everybody, but my, my awesome husband um, is going to pick my sister up at work because she doesn't like to drive in the snow. So, um, that's what we do here. But look at that. Look at, look at, look at. Okay. Now to finish it up, to make the envelope for it. Um, the envelope size is four and a half by six. Okay. Four and a half by six. You have to cut an eight and three quarter piece of paper square and then score it on the three and seven eighths mark. All four sides. But I'm sure you all know how to do that. And then you nicely put your little thing in here. Now you can give it to somebody or you can mail it to somebody. Look at this. I'll move all this and then I'll show you the three. Look at that. How awesome. She's going to love this. She is going to absolutely love this. How cute. I'll throw that in there. And then that will go. And then her bookmark. And all my garbage is in the way. But we did it. Look at this. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. I will link the link below. I will link the link below. And let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a shout out. Um, I had made one in an oval and in a heart. And if you'd like to see those videos, let me know. 
and have a great day. And if you're in the snow region, please be careful. Bye.